Okay, so it's about 6 in the morning. It's maybe 6 30. And we're gonna get set up for range day. Okay, so this is how it's all set up. Got my table here, got the canopy overhead. On the right side, I have this little rifle rack. So if you walk down range, you don't wanna have a bunch of barrels pointed at you. So a rifle rack keeps everything a bit safer, a bit more organized. Uh, I got my kit bag right there, ammo box. And then I have my barricade, two steel targets out there, blue guys. And then I'm going to possibly put another, maybe a paper target over here. But, this is my standard range day setup. And yeah, let's talk about what's in this guy. The idea of this video is to talk about all of the gear that I bring to make us, to have a successful range day. I, I can have the coolest plate carrier and helmet set up and all, but if I don't have a steel target, things to make the day efficient then i'm not going to get any use out of all that gear anyway right so so you can see i'm under this guy uh, this is just a 65 dollar canopy from big five it was on sale at, at some point and i picked it up and you can get a lot nicer canopies than this i just you know was going cheap and i've got a lot of use out of it yeah i always like to bring this whether it's sunny for keeping my you know white boy body from being sunburnt or if it's like today and it's pretty misty and rainy, keeping things kind of dry. Table, folding table, lightweight table. <clears throat> I've, you know, there's all kinds you can get. You can get them all over the place at Walmart. You always want somewhere to set your stuff. You don't want to be setting your, your guns and your and all your gear just straight on the ground. Let me say this, none of these, none of this stuff really is a necessity. You know, your necessity is like a paper target and a concealed holster and a, and a pistol and some ear pro that's that's really what you need to get out there and train but the way i like to if i'm going to get a full use out of the day i want to have a setup that clears my mind enough to where i can just think about training i don't have to think about oh where am i going to set this down what's that's that's the point of this to not overthink it you need something to stay dry you need to stay dry you need somewhere to put your stuff I like having a place to put my guns, so I have this little $25 Amazon gun rack, and I just tie that to the leg of, of the canopy and the leg of the uh, table, nice and sturdy. Everybody that shows up, there's five or six spots to put rifles that usually covers everybody. And the best thing about that is that I'm not laying my rifle flat when I go walk down range to adjust a target or check my hits or something like that. Rifle, the, the muzzle straight up, it's safe, it's not gonna fall as long as you secure it correctly. Something I started bringing recently, it's paid for itself in efficiency. I have two steel targets. I usually bring, I usually bring just this paper sticky target and some cardboard, if not uh, IPSEC targets. But if you are bringing IPSEC targets, you need to bring more stands and 
that just takes up more space in the car and I don't have a big car. But I'm able to get two steel targets, you know, with two by fours and a, a barricade that a friend of mine made that sits in kind of a target stand sort of apparatus, but it packs up really tight. So that's what goes down range. Um, another thing I like about having a table and a canopy is it sets a very defined uh, line of fire so that every time we pull back, you know, inside of the canopy, it's a cue to unload your rifle and make it safe, right? Now let's, okay, let's go to the gear. I bring this giant kit back no matter what training mission, whether it's airsoft, milsim, uh, shooting class, anything. And it's, it looks like a son of a bitch to carry around but it's not made to carry around. It's made to keep all your gear in one place, is the way I think of it. So, when I get home, this stuff barely ever leaves. It, it, the bag, it just kinda, it sits on a shelf, and then when I need it, it's ready to go. So it's an LBT 2466, one of these, but I don't think you can get them. I know you can't get them on LBT's website. I haven't seen them on eBay. LBT made a lot of these kit bags and they still make them but this one is completely unbranded and I got it seven or eight years ago off of LBT's website for 90 bucks and it was pretty insane because most comparable bags like this were going for 300 now they're like 600 bucks after Biden's economy I've had it for you know a long time and it's pretty awesome but it has a main compartment with that you know you put your big stuff and then two front compartments and then one big compartment that spans the whole back of it and then on the inside you have two pockets on the lid and then four pockets internal to the bag itself um it has two handles on on the outside here it has two handles here it can clip it has three different compression straps another handle on the back and then wheels so it, it makes it quite a bit easier to move around so what do i keep in here let's go over the front i think of this front left pocket as all uh safety equipment so ipro ipro ear pro and a little flashlight in here and this is all miscellaneous gaffer tape this is a training tourniquet like a fake chinese one this is a, a cleaning and weapon maintenance kit so it has batteries for optics i have triple a's in there just for ear pro and then inside of this guy some lube bore uh bore brush and a cleaning rod and then some more bags of just paper towels and stuff to wipe everything off uh, there's a ball of clavel, just in case I get, you know, I want to do some early administrative things. Um, executive outcome things, even. Yeah. This is another maintenance kit, but this is more for gear and other things. Two different sets of Allen wrenches for metric and US, and then one hex or a star set. Rubber bands. This is like Coban, like that self adhesive stuff uh, I have a couple of these buckles zip ties this small paracord thin paracord I have an extra radio antenna I have a Magpul sling adapter carabiner a couple other things but this is just like for gear maintenance Go. Oh, there's my GoPro. I've been looking for that. And then I have two different notebooks. Usually, actually, I have three. Well, yeah. Um, this one's like more field notes that I keep kind of empty because it's to use in the field. And then this one is just I write down drills or ideas I have for drills or like gear lists and stuff like that. 
So this is more administrative stuff, less fieldy. Fucking tiger stripe bandana for the Vietnam lore. I don't know. I don't really, you know, stuff has kind of accumulated in here over the years. And that's kind of what this pouch is for. This is an otter box that's all got batteries. More optics, batteries, double A's, triple A's. I should have CR123s, but I don't have as much of those as I should. Trail tape. I like using this for like marking a firing line. There's a lot of people on the range. Uh, and for other things, you know, if you know things about tracking people and stuff like that. And goon tape. Goon tape. Was, this company was formed back when everybody thought goon was a cool word. And now everybody hates it because the internet is infinite levels of irony. Okay, so that's that pocket. And then the back. Uh, this is my munitions box that doesn't have actual munitions in it. It just has smoke grenades. And then these cores to the Thunderbees. And a CO2 can in there. Just, you yeah, know, little smokes. I have a cup, I have a towel. Because a lot of reasons. You either get really sweaty and you need the towel off. Or uh, you dip in the river on the way out from the range because there's a lot of rivers out here in Oregon. A couple Thunderbee uh, shells. This is my Camelback that needs replaced because it's tube I think has mold in it. This is like 25 feet of tubular nylon. Dude wipes. I wish I knew these are in here when I just went and took a dump in the woods earlier. These ones are too expensive. You shouldn't buy these. I got tricked. I got tricked because I'm like, I'm a dude. For a while, this was like a survival seer kit. And I slowly picked things out of it and put them in other bags. Like, I still have this little Gerber. I don't know why I have this here. This is just kind of accumulated. But I have this field survival field manual. That's what I keep in here. But this needs to be repurposed. <laughs> And then the last thing is an e-tool. Good to have it with the kit, in my opinion. Night Vision. Goes in this box. I forgot my freaking J arm. So I wasn't able to put it on this morning when it was dark. Uh, in these top pockets, I do gloves here, usually. I have another pair of gloves, but they're on my belt right now. And then this right pocket is like scrim. Uh, this is like a helmet cover. I have other scrim patches in there. And when this one isn't on it, on my helmet, it goes in there. So yeah, helmet. Well, like I said, gloves are on the belt. But if I don't want them on the belt, I'll put them in that pouch, the glove pouch. Pouch for gloves. Play Terror. I think I'll just set that there. This is a helmet hugger. This is to keep your helmet attached to like an assault pack or a rucksack. And I sell them on Etsy, and you should go buy one. Because it's a pretty cool piece of gear. And I make it myself. And then finally, my chest rig. This is the. Haley, Chester. The last couple things is these internal pouches. I keep magazines, keep rifle mags in the left one, and I keep pistol mags in the right one. And then back here, this is like all the gear I'm not using. This old placard. Um, you know, pouches, shoulder, you know, stuff like that. And then this right one doesn't have anything. Maybe that's where this goes now. That's how I set up for a range day. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, all those things that YouTube people tell you to do. And um, keep an eye on my Etsy store. I have some more 
pieces of gear. I have some more flannels. I have uh, all sorts of stuff is going to be coming through on that website. Anyway, I appreciate all you guys watching. That, uh, that means a lot. So, anyway, catch you guys in the next one.